Now, hello everyone and welcome. And uh, thank you for joining us to learn about serverless on AWS today. Uh, my name is Rasti Banerjee and I am a senior solution architect at AWS. Now serverless is an exciting topic and one of the differentiating capabilities of the cloud. Serverless means exactly what it sounds like, no servers to manage. While there are servers somewhere, AWS manages those servers on your behalf. AWS customers that use serverless technologies have found that their teams are more productive and agile in bringing new products to market. And while serverless is generally associated with compute, it actually encompasses an array of managed services on AWS that can help you build scalable and resilient workloads while pushing undifferentiated heavy lifting to AWS. Our goal today is to introduce you to the serverless. We will explore the value proposition as well as several core serverless services. Thanks again for joining. Let's take a look at what we will discuss today. Now we have a packed agenda for this session. We will start with the business driver behind serverless and answer questions like what is serverless, why we should use it, and how others are adopting serverless. We will conclude the session with some amazing serverless announcement coming from reInvent 2022. Now, what truly differentiates your business? It's not the server your application run on, nor the web framework you use your website with. Business logic and data is what differentiates your business from others. In a serverless world, we want you to focus on writing differentiating business logic not boilerplate code, or not the undifferentiated heavy lifting that comes with running a web application server. We want to use configuration whenever possible so that we can focus on business logic and application. Serverless architecture can solve a large number of business problems by architecting systems that leverage multiple AWS managed services. Now, what do our most successful customer want from us? What let them innovate quickly, compete in a global market, and deliver value for their customers? They want their teams to deliver product to customers as fast as possible. They want their application and infrastructure to be reliable, highly available, and scalable. They want the highest security and isolation. And they want all of these with a lower cost of ownership, or we call it TCO. Now, many of you have likely seen an evolution over the past few years, particularly as businesses continue to migrate to the cloud. While you may have once managed your own physical infrastructure, moving to virtual machines you know, greatly simplified management of hardware and procurement. Containers can also help developers focus on differentiating features as they further abstract us from the physical servers. Now, customer tells us containers are great, but managing infrastructure is again an undifferentiated heavy lifting. Too much time is spent controlling infrastructure and not enough time is spent on code, application, and the architecture. Now, these are the areas developers and architects want to focus. Serverless lets you write code and business logic while someone else, in this case AWS, manages your infrastructure. Serverless comes with a number of benefits that you were previously responsible for, even in the cloud. These include scaling resources, handling failures, and maintenance of the underlying infrastructure. Patching the operating system, for example, is handled primarily by AWS in a serverless world. So serverless in view of the AWS has four primary characteristics. No infrastructure provisioning, no management. The customers does not need to worry about managing infrastructure ever in a serverless world. AWS handle tasks such as operating system patching and retiring aging hardware. When you don't need to manage infrastructure, you can focus on what differentiates your business. Automatic scaling. Serverless also scales as needed, up and down. If your serverless microservice is serving more requests, it scales up. When request rate goes down, it scales down. 
AWS manages the scaling behavior automatically, you know, on your behalf. Pay for value. Serverless also means never paying for idle resources. Instead of paying for a time a server spends waiting for work, serverless compute resources are available as needed, and you only pay for the time they work. Lastly, highly available and secure. In a serverless world, AWS manages the fault tolerance and high availability of the infrastructure. AWS manages the security of serverless resources by building security at the core of the service. And serverless is more than compute. While many customers associate serverless with Lambda, there are actually serverless services at all layer of the stack. Many modern applications are built serverless first, a strategy that prioritizes the adoption of serverless services so customers can increase agility throughout the application stack. At AWS, we have serverless services for all four layers of the stack, compute, data stores, integrations, and streaming. While Lambda is clearly at the center of the serverless architecture, it's when the different serverless components come together that we see a significant advantages. You write less code and maintain less per application, and you pay on demand. These combined with the reduction in overall infrastructure operation translate into a disruptive gain in agility and developer productivity. Now let us take a quick look at different serverless offerings from AWS. AWS Lambda is a function as a service and one of the most popular serverless offerings. If you are currently using container, you can use serverless Fargate for container runtime. In data store, uh, you know, S3, uh, Amazon Simple Storage Service is an object storage service offering you know, industry leading of scalability, data availability, security, and performance. Amazon Aurora Serverless is an on-demand auto-scaling configuration for Aurora database. And you can run your relational database engines like Postgres or RDS on Aurora without managing any database capacity. Now, if your use case require NoSQL database, we have DynamoDB. For integration as well, we have a number of integration services. Amazon EventBridge is a serverless, fully managed, scalable event bus that enables uh, integration between AWS services, your application, or third-party system. Amazon API Gateway is a fully managed service that makes it easy for developers to create, publish, monitor and secure API at any scale. Amazon SQS and SNS support message queue or pub sub mechanism. So they are great for event-driven architecture. If you are currently using Apache Active MQ, then Amazon MQ is the managed service alternative in the cloud. In the streaming arena, we have many service offering as well. Amazon Kinesis makes it easy to collect, process, and analyze real-time streaming data so you can get timely insights and react quickly to new information. Amazon Managed Streaming for Apache Kafka or MSK is the managed service offering for Kafka. So if you are using Kafka today, you can opt for this. Now, this slide is very important, and here you can see how the operational responsibility models work for serverless. As you go left to right, AWS takes care of the majority of operational burden for you. You can start at the very left with EC2 and have, and have access to all the knobs you want to manage. Or you could go completely serverless with Lambda where you are focusing just on your application. Our goal is to provide you more choice and also to keep pushing this line in a direction so that you are responsible for less and less and we manage more of your infrastructure. Now this will free up your time to focus on business logic for your company. Now we see customers you know, building a wide variety of application with serverless building blocks, but there are a few common areas where they get a huge benefit. They often start with IT automation, such as you know, using Lambda function to validate some configuration changes each time a virtual machine or EC2 is launched. Next, individual teams might start using Lambda integration with S3 or Kinesis streams to build data processing applications. 
And then as team become mature, multiple teams will start building whole microservice-based application. And finally, they often use Lambda in machine learning applications. Ultimately, when you make technical decision, you have to consider your existing application portfolio and you have few options. You can reduce the amount of stuff you are directly responsible for, either by retiring systems or adopting you know, third-party software as a service solution. You can do a lift and shift migration to AWS. And most customers benefit from doing this quickly to get out of the data center management and bring their application to a common cloud environment. And then when it comes to modernizing your application, you can either replatform or refactor. Now, when we say replatform, we mean moving from a service you manage yourself to a service that AWS can manage for you, such as you know, moving from self-managed RabbitMQ to for adopting Amazon MQ. Finally, you know, refactoring is where our customers see the biggest transformation. Successful customers start by refactoring their most business critical or customer facing applications, because that's where they will get the most time to market and cost benefit. Now, one thing that is common across serverless application is they follow the design pattern based practices, small pieces loosely joined. All of the serverless applications are modular, composed, for, composed from you know, multiple AWS services and customer developed components. That is why we are so focused on delivering lots of integration in our serverless offering, Lambda, even Bridge, API Gateway, or State Function. We want to make it easy to build new applications and functionality with loose coupling and high cohesion. Now, let us see a few of the customer case studies on serverless. Lego builds with an event-driven design, and they do it nearly all on Amazon Event Bridge. Back in 2017, Lego had a monolith, but after a Black Friday sale crashed their entire system, they were looking for something that were more scalable. They began decoupling their backend and building an event-driven serverless application. On 2019, Lego became completely serverless on AWS. Later that year, we launched Amazon Event Bridge. Now, Event Bridge was perfect for the hub and spoke event bus model they wanted to achieve. So Lego rebuilt their checkout event processing with Event Bridge. This way, rather than point-to-point -point connection, they have a much simpler way to operate their events. Taco Bell. Now, during the pandemic, you know, demand for online delivery orders increased exponentially. To receive orders from delivery partners, Taco Bell receives tablets from their delivery partners. And in-store employees would manually copy orders from the tablets into the point of sale system. This process, as you can understand, was frustrating to employees and error prone. So they needed to quickly build a solution to automate this process and input delivery orders into their point of sale system. They build a middleware solution that takes API calls, send delivery order events to Amazon Event Bridge, and calls a state function state machine to orchestrate you know, processing this order event. With serverless services, they were able to build a functional proof of concept in two weeks, and they were in production in two months. Because the system was easily extensible, they were able to add additional events, and they were able to add four more delivery partner integration in six months. The solution was highly scalable, scaling to millions of orders per hour. Now, I will discuss some of the great announcements you know, coming from reInvent 2022 in the serverless space. First, we'll start with Lambda Snapstart. We often hear about you know, Lambda Startup Latency or cold start time, which is the time that Lambda spends initializing the function that includes loading the function code, uh, starting the runtime engine and initializing the function startup code. Lambda Snapstart for Java can improve startup performance for latency sensitive application by up to 10 times at no extra cost, typically with no changes to your function code. This is an exciting announcement to our client who are using Lambda regularly. 
AWS application composer, you know, is a visual designer that you can use to build your serverless application for multiple AWS services. You can use application composers interactive builder to design your application architecture by selecting, connecting, and defining AWS resources on a canvas. As you design, application composer automatically develops your infrastructure as code template following AWS best practices. Now this screenshot shows an application composer canvas with a demo application. Now this basic application you know, includes an Amazon API gateway that routes uh, various HTTP methods to you know, Lambda-based functions. All these functions, they are connected to a DynamoDB table to store or retrieve data. Now, when we talk to developers about their experience, we often feel that modern development has become more complicated uh, due to a wider collection of frameworks, tools, uh, cloud services, and multiple continuous integration and delivery pipeline, or what we call CI-CD pipelines. Developer choices have become complex with a lot of choice and trade-off analysis. Amazon Code Catalyst is an integrated DevOps service for software development teams adopting CI-CD practices into their software development process. Code Catalyst provides one place where you can plan work, collaborate on code, and build, test, and deploy your application with CI-CD tools. You can easily integrate AWS resources with your projects by connecting your AWS account to the Code Catalyst space. With all the stage and aspects of an application lifecycle in one tool, you can deliver software quickly and more efficiently and confidently. Now, previously, many customers, they used commercial off the shelf uh, scheduling tools or build their own scheduling tool to trigger batch or workflows. The custom code can increase application complexity, slow down application development and increase cost. Many of these custom scheduling solutions are limited in what AWS services they can trigger and that can affect your application performance. Enter Amazon EventBridge Scheduler. This is a new capability from Amazon EventBridge that allows you to create, run, and manage uh, scheduled tasks at scale. With EventBridge Scheduler, you can schedule one time or recurrently tens of millions of tasks across many AWS services without provisioning or managing underlying infrastructure. Hey, Raj Depp. Yes. We yes, had a Ron. couple of questions. This is great stuff. Want to as we're finishing up this, I just want to see um, a couple of questions. Michael had one about pan demand isn't always an option. Do you do any flat rate pricing? Yes, definitely. We have certain services where you can resolve uh, pricing, and they you can use. Uh, but mostly, I think we have uh, this serverless model is beneficial because customer you know uh, pay on demand. Okay. But I can share some links where you can, you know, uh, do reserve pricing for Got some Michael, services. Got it. And then t uh, you can respond during the Q&A. Tim, and a question. Are there any common methods or shortcuts for quickly refactoring or repurposing applications to the serverless configuration? Right. Yes, uh, there are common patterns across serverless world, and I will come to that at the conclusion where I okay. will present multiple serverless patterns across all the industries. Okay, so we'll cover that. So we've got about three or four minutes if we could finish up, because then we're going to have yeah. a great concluding talk from Aaron. Sure, sure. So even which Prime is again another uh, new feature. So and as developers use multiple Amazon services to compose an application, you know they have to write glue code. Uh, to communicate between different services, and which can be a time-consuming manual exercise. Amazon Event Bridge Pipes helps you create point-to-point uh, -point integrations between event producers and uh, event consumers with optional transform, filter, and enrich steps. Event Bridge Pipes reduces the amount of integration code you need to write and maintain when building event-driven applications. Now, AWS Step Function is a growing popularity in the serverless workflow space. This, the new distributed map state you know, allows you to write a step function to coordinate large scale parallel workloads within your serverless application. You can now iterate over millions of objects such as logs, images, or CSV files stored in Amazon Simple Storage Service or S3. 
the new distributed map state can launch up to 10,000 parallel workflows to process or you know, process data. AWS SAM, we call a serverless application model and Terraform, uh, both are open source frameworks for building application using infrastructure as code template. Now, now both of these uh, frameworks allow you know, building, changing and managing cloud infrastructure in a repeatable way by defining resource configuration. Now, previously you could use AWS SAM CLI to build, test and debug your serverless applications defined only by SAM template or cloud development kit or CDK templates. Now with SAM and Terraform integration, you can use SAM CLI to test and debug serverless application defined using Terraform configurations as well. We have also talked about security a lot in this uh, webinar, right? So Amazon Inspector is a vulnerability management service that continually scans workloads uh, across Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2 or container images, you know, living in Amazon uh, Elastic Container Registry or ECR. Amazon Inspector now supports AWS Lambda functions, adding continual automated vulnerability assessment for serverless compute workloads. With this expanded capability, Amazon Inspector now automatically discovers all eligible Lambda functions and identifies software vulnerabilities in application package dependencies used in your Lambda function code. Lastly, uh, Amazon Open Source Service you know, makes it easy for you to perform interactive log analytics, uh, real-time application monitoring, website search, and more. Now, Open Source is an open source service and derived from Elasticsearch. Amazon Open Source now supports serverless option. So as a developer, you can use Open Source serverless to run petabyte scale workloads without configuring, managing, and scaling open source clusters. So you get the same interactive millisecond response time as open source service with the simplicity of a serverless environment. I hope you all found this uh, webinar useful. Uh, for further deep dives on this subject, you can visit serverlessland.com, you know, where you will find many useful patterns across industry. So Ron, you are asking a question like where we can find uh, best practices or refactoring. Serverlessland.com is a wonderful resource where you will see repeatable patterns and you can find various blueprint across industries, across you know, uh, uh, services. You can also talk to your AWS account team to arrange specific uh, serverless workshops or training on serverless topics. 